All right, so this is the beginning of my final exam for FTT 100. My name is Paige Morales, and this uh, today is 2-24-2022. Um, and the lab that I'm going to be doing is the Fastener Repair Lab, or SDI. So first thing, um, going to mark this and get a line to drill the hole. So the next step was to get it checked up and actually drill the pilot hole. So this was me taking out the uh, piece of aluminum, and I realized after the fact that I probably should have just left it chucked um, between drilling the pilot hole and actually starting the drill and tap. But you know, hindsight. So now we're back on the mill, back realigned, and I am starting manually starting the threads um, for the actual screw. So leaving the uh, threaded bit in place, um, I got the tap handle on eventually. It did take a couple tries to figure out how to actually get it to tighten. Um, but once it was on, I went ahead and tapped the rest of the threads by hand. Now that I have successfully drilled and tapped this hole, I had to make sure that it actually was correct. So this is just double checking that the screw actually goes in and ta-da, it does. So now that I've done all this lovely work of getting the uh, fastener installed into the aluminum block, um, the final wants me to cut it off and extract it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut off. So here I am just drilling out the center of the screw Now I am using the screw extractor that was provided with the kit uh, to get out the remnants of the screw. So here was the initial picture of it all pretty, and here was what I purposely did to it to fix in this video. So I was just fixing the uh, buggered uh, screw head, just kind of making it a little bit nicer and um, not out of shape. repairing the screw that's how it looked and then I went on to polishing with 320 and then 400 grit uh, with a drill um, did this until I was happy with it and the picture after this is how it looked after it was polished <laughs> Next on the agenda was to blue the screw, so here I am degreasing and prepping it uh, with acetone, and then I will be using the provided perma blue to make it look better. I did three cycles of the bluing. Um, I ended up using the lid to hold some of the fluid. Um, ideally, I would have preferred to decant into like a Dixie cup or something, but I have not yet gotten them. Um, 
I used a clean cotton swab for each cycle of glue that I did in between burnishing with a, I think it's, I think it was four aught steel wool, um, just kind of get a little bit of the shine in. And at the end, um, not in the video, I rinsed off the bluing to kind of deactivate it and then applied some oil to the screw. final. Um, I have included the link in the description as well as uh, submitted it on SDI's site for part two um, in the interest of not posting a like super super long video. <laughs>